Absolutely not. Based on what I've seen and my colleagues in the OB-GYN departments, um, they, there is no credible scientific evidence that the COVID vaccine will affect fertility. I am confident that the vaccine is safe for children. It's been studied on a few thousand children. They found that using a lower dose of the vaccine actually provided less side effects than the standard adult dose. So we'll be giving kids a third of the adult dose. So when we think about long-term side effects from any vaccine, um, it's a little bit of a misconception because really if we're going to have an adverse effect from a vaccine, we would really expect to see those um, symptoms within a month of receiving the vaccine, but really at the longest two months after receiving the vaccine. From the Pfizer vaccine um, that has been studied in teenagers and adults, really the uh, possible adverse effects really happen very quickly, within days after receiving the vaccine. The COVID vaccination should not impact your child's fertility. And the vaccine has been tested in 100,000 people. It's been very safe. A few people have you get muscle aches, pains, chills. A few people have, people have had some swelling of the heart. Very minor, very transient. Uh, it's not lasted long, and they've all recovered. So again, the vaccine is much, much, much safer than the risk of getting COVID, and then the long-term manifestations of a COVID infection. So it is thankfully true that most kids who get COVID do well. But there is a subset of children out there who have done very poorly with COVID and even died from COVID. And trust me, if you're one of the parents of a child who has a terrible course with COVID, you don't care. You don't care if it's rare. You just want your kid to be okay. So when we think about this vaccine, I really implore you to think about this as a way to prevent your child from having a severe outcome. Your child doesn't need to be at risk for having a severe outcome from COVID because there's a safe and effective vaccine that can prevent that from happening. And people who have had COVID-19 do have immunity against the virus for at least a year. If we look at large studies from Europe, those who had natural immunity did actually have a low likelihood of suffering subsequent hospitalization from COVID-19. However, I think it's very interesting to note that those who had natural COVID and then had at least one dose of an mRNA vaccine had superior immunity compared to anyone else, either natural infection or having vaccine generated immunity. So even if you've had COVID-19, you will still benefit from having at least one dose of vaccine. I think that it's the best way to get us through the pandemic, to get us back to a normal life where we don't have to be worried about if we're going to be a person who gets severe symptoms or mild symptoms when we get COVID. It's also the best way to keep us out of the hospital and emergency room.